Hey, good morning guys. Sean here back with another video. Today Sarah and I had planned to take you guys on a, a pretty nice little hike. And uh, but it looks like it's gonna storm on us, so instead of doing that, we got something else planned that I've been needing to do for a long time. Let's get it. So this was my pop's little cabin here. Um, if you watched the last video, you seen where I was sitting inside the little studio there, um, shooting a little video. After pop passed, Sarah and I decided that we would make this sort of a multi-use space and um, use it for her soap making and for uh, me to store my uh, camping gear and stuff like that and set it up to shoot little videos for you guys um, over the past few months Sarah's business is uh, growing and she's gonna need more space so the plan <laughs> chickens attacking me so the plan today is I'm gonna get the little red barn quit I'm gonna get the little red barn set up uh, for my gear we're gonna give this space to Sarah to use the whole thing. So, I'll take you guys in, inside. I'm gonna give you a little tour of her space, and uh, I'll show you what we're getting out of there um, and what we're gonna be moving. So, let's get into that. Okay, so. As you can see here, Sarah has her nice soap making set up. She's got her office set up really nice here. She's got all her gear, her shelf with her TV on it. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what she's got going on in here. Probably not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, as you can see, she's got a lot of her space taken up with soaps and things already. And she's going to need more storage space pretty soon. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to work on getting all my stuff out of here, which is... All this stuff right here work on getting all of this stuff out of here so we can get the space finished up as you can see I kind of went through and and redid some of the drywall in here and um, we're gonna get that all finished up and painted for her but today we're gonna work on the little red barn and uh, getting it all cleaned out, which is a huge mess. We're going to work on getting it all cleaned out and getting all this stuff transferred over there. So that's a big project and we need to get into it. Uh, it may or may not rain on us. We'll see. I'm going to show you some of these cabinets Dad made. That was pretty awesome. He took all this wood these were rough cut 2x4 pallet boards that I got from uh, the electric company and he put them on the table saw and ripped them all down They're all about 3 quarter inch thick and then he cut them all down and made the cabinets out of them turned out really cool um, dad was a very talented man alright now that you know where I'm coming from let's see where I'm going so the little red barn here has been here for a good while now. We built that when my girls were little um, to hold all the tack for the horses and stuff. Now we're down to one old horse and she doesn't really ride anymore. So it kind of turned into a catch-all. And uh, for you guys that know how that works, everything kind of built its way out to the door and now you can't even get into the thing. So today we're gonna drag all that crap out of there and uh, 
try to get it all set back up where it's a usable space for me and usable for storage. So uh, now there's nothing to do but start pulling it out. Okay, so I'm obviously not proud of how this thing has gotten messed up, but I think I'll be proud of the uh, results. Let's do it. I gotta slow down. I uh, just reached down and grabbed the, uh, this little pair of pliers or whatever that is down there, and a uh, freaking black widow ran across my hand. I was able to swat it off before it bit me, but that was freaking scary. I gotta slow down. So much of this crap should have been thrown away so long ago. Well, we're getting there. I can see the back wall now on the floor. Still got some stuff to try to clear out and get organized. Think about something to do with all this tack and these saddles. We're getting there though. We're definitely getting there. I completely forgot. Already had camping, camping supplies in there already. That's a good sign. It really was a shame to have all these tools available and nowhere to store them um, correctly and no way to actually get in here and use them. I'm glad, uh, you know, now that this thing is uh, getting cleaned out, I'll have some room to work and uh, more than that, really some room to just safely store them where they don't get messed up. sense that it would wait until I'm ready to start building this thing back out that it would start to rain so I guess I'm gonna call it for right now and I'm gonna go inside and try to find me something for lunch and a cold drink I got everything covered up and uh, hopefully this storm will blow in pretty fast or blow through pretty fast but it's a big storm I don't know but Tomorrow's another day if this if we can't get it finished today. Check this out. My what my wife's making for dinner. She's got one of our chickens that we butchered in here in the crock pot and she's making a crock pot rotisserie chicken freaking awesome well I didn't realize yesterday when I got started on this thing that it was gonna be a two day long rain so um, again this morning it's raining it doesn't matter if it's raining or not these animals have to be fed so uh, I'm fixing to go ahead and hop in the truck run down the Home Depot I'm going to still grab us some supplies and um, try to get inside the building since we got it cleaned out now and uh, build some shelves and stuff like that. I can still do some things inside there, um, you know, just to kind of get us, keep us going anyway. And hopefully it'll clear up in a little while, 
dad used to always say, if it's raining by 7, it'll be gone by 11, so fingers crossed, we'll see. You hungry? Yeah. yeah. Hang on. There you go. Well, once again, Paul was right. Rain by 7, gone by 11. 11 o'clock, the sky is starting to blew up, the rain stopped. So, I was able to go ahead and get some lumber. I got a little bit of extra lumber because I want to build a loft up there to give me a little more room to store stuff up and not have to be uh, down on the floor. So, I got that, this stuff, and then I got some... Uh, electrical boxes and stuff so I can add some uh, lights and receptacles and stuff in there so got a quick run in the mouth and get to work okay so the first thing we're gonna do in here is I want to go ahead and add us a light that way we'll be able to see a little better in here now you'll be able to see a little better on the video in here I'm also going to be adding uh, a light right down here at the bottom on a switch um, that way I can kind of up light the videos and it won't be so shadowy and stuff like that so I'm making plans to use this space um, for more than just you know a little workshop it's going to be for shooting videos and stuff too so that being said let's go ahead and get this light hanging up So I made sure that I've got the breaker off for this um, wire up here. And we are going to strip this thing back and get us wired up. one of these little cheap light fixtures to hang up here because we don't need anything fancy in here. Let's 
put us a little cheap bulb in here just to see how this thing works. Now, do we have power? Ah, then there was light. Next project. Okay, so I still got these two saddles and another small saddle that I kept. Um, the um, the little saddle was my daughter's uh, saddle that Pop got them when they were real little, so I, I definitely don't want to get rid of that. And this is my wife's saddle, and this is my old saddle that I've had for a long time. And I just couldn't really stand the idea of parting with them, so um, whether I ever use them again, I've got them if I need them. So. But I don't want them stretched out like this. Um, I want to hang them up on the wall. And uh, so that being the case, I want to get this out of here and I want to build a saddle rack up here on the wall so I can free up some space. So I think that's what we're going to jump on next. Okay, so obviously we're not doing anything too fancy. This is just going to be a very utilitarian uh, style saddle rack. Just what neat, what it'll take to just hold the saddles up off the floor. So that's what we're going to be working on. And uh, we're going to cut some braces now. And I'm fixing to have to pack up. Um, I, me and Sarah have somewhere we got to go. So I'm going to get a couple more pieces cut. And then I'll have to call it for another day. All right, so this is what we got. Uh, be set up for the saddles like I said nothing fancy honestly I'm hoping that's big enough The baby cell. Well, may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but it does what I want it to do. Gets them all up off the floor. Still got some room down here up under. I could put my welder and other things. I think that's what I'm going to do over here. And uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I've got to go get changed. Me and Sarah have somewhere we got to be, so that's going to wrap it up for today. Stick around. There's still more to do. Well, here we are, day three, working on this uh, this little barn here, trying to get everything moved over. 
Uh, should have never started this thing. Since I started working on it, it has literally rained every 15 minutes. So, trying to get this thing done has been rough. I don't have anywhere that's good and covered to be able to set my tools up to be able to work. So I'm having to take them out and work and then cover them back up when it rains and, and things like that. So it's making the going kind of slow. So we're going to get through what we can get through this week. And we'll probably end up having to make a part two to this video. So a part two or a part three, who knows. But I'm going to quit running my mouth. And we're going to get everything set up and get back to work. So the next thing I'd like to accomplish is I want to get a loft put up in the top of the barn so I can put some of the things off of the floor up there. But the problem I'm having, and I've got it in my mind that it's got this piece of plywood has got to go up here and here in one piece. And uh, though I know that's probably not the, the easiest thing to do, that's the way I want it. So I'm going to try to figure out how to work it out. The problem is because of the angle on the roof, I'm hitting on each corner. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my sawzall and I'm gonna cut those corners off a little bit and see if I can gain enough uh, room to be able to get this thing to shove up on top. Came Where there's an unnecessary will, there's a way. I think I just need some extra leverage. So let's see what happens. Problem is, I cut the thing a little too snug. Wasn't necessary. Didn't need to cut it that tight. It's a problem I have. Close tolerances is what I want. Wasn't necessary. Made things harder than it had to be.
sometimes you just need a bigger hammer. Don't bury to them too fast. Gotta go now. We're too far back up. Hey Sean, what are you doing to yourself, man? I'm kicking my ass, divine. Of course the screw gun would be dead, right? Wouldn't make any sense for it to not be dead. I'm done for tonight. I know I didn't get this project done, barely got anything done, but I'm whooped. Tomorrow's another day.